Hi, my name is Luke Buxton. Uh, I'm on mission trip uh, with John Knox. I'm in San Francisco. And um, probably the most interesting thing that happened so far is I talked to this homeless guy sitting uh, um, up on the side of the building. And um, I, didn't, I, I didn't really want to talk to him at first. I, I, I was a little distracted talking to Steven. And then we walked past him and, and he was like, do you want to go back? And I was like... Nah, and then we kept walking, but then as, as we got farther and farther, I was like, yeah, we need to go back. So I went back, and me and Steven, I said, hello, sir, how's your day? And he was like, oh, I'm good and stuff, and he was eating. I was like, do you want anything to eat or anything? And he's like, no, I just ate. It's like, anything you need? And he's like, no. And so we just talked to him, asked him some questions about the city. He's been in the city for like 40 years. His name's Yuri. And he's college educated, but he lost his job in his house because because of drugs. It's kind of sad, but I mean, he seemed, he seemed like a nice guy. And he was pretty smart. He was like reading books and he likes like Tom Clancy novels and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, you know, I, I just got a lot of it. And then I, about 10 minutes later, after we walked away and started talking to me, another lady, he came up to us and he was like, um, um, you guys seem like really great kids. And I just wanted to like, um, well, you know, if any guy comes up to you and offers you like speed or crack or meth or cocaine or anything, just kick him in the knee and run like a scared dog. So, you know, I, I could tell that he actually kind of cared about us, you know. Hi, my name is V. Fisher, and I'm on the mission trip with John Knox. We're in San Francisco. The most interesting thing I have to say about it is the Korean church we went to today. And I was working with a group of kids from ages 9 to 10. First time I walked into the room with a bunch of kids, they were jumping on the piano and they were um, just yelling and screaming and they were just saying random things, a couple bad things. And so I introduced myself and they didn't really say anything to me. It was hard to get through to them. And there's one kid in particular that was very hard to connect with. His name was Hal. He just didn't like me at all. He, he, he didn't like me. He, I mean, I would try and like, you know, do something with him like, hey, let's play thumb war or something. Let's play some football. He wouldn't want to do anything. He always said, I don't like you, go away. You're, you're ugly, I don't like you, you're weird. So it always kind of shot me down. And Jeff, he talked about hope this morning. And I was just thinking, you know, if we're going to talk about hope, I should just carry it out throughout the day, even though it's really hard with these kids that just run and scream. It's making my head throb, but, you know, I can get through it. So I just kept on trying and trying. And sometimes I could see a little smile on his face that he liked me giving him attention. So, yeah, that's, that's what's so great about it. Hey, it's, uh, it's Jack, and I'm in San Francisco, and I'm on the mission trip. Take me, Dave! All right, so we're on the mission trip. And uh, one, of the coolest, one of the coolest things we, uh, we've done so far is uh, we went out, and I talked to this homeless guy, and his, na his, name, was, his name was Kenny, Kenny G. And he, and he, um, he, was, he was a pretty cool guy. He, uh, we asked him some stuff about San Francisco, and he was, he was telling us, and, uh, he was telling us how we were in the Tenderloin, and it was the worst part of the city. And we were, uh, he told us that twelve people a month died in the Tenderloin, and like he, he could describe exactly where it was, like block for block. And um, he uh, he showed us some of his Vietnam score, scars, and uh, they were they were pretty crazy. He had some some frag in his arm, and it was. It was pretty crazy, but he uh, he told us about how he uh, he's been to jail, and he uh, I don't know, he just he told us about how he, he he really turned to God when he was in jail, and he he had time to think about it, and he really turned to God, and he just turned his life around. It was really good, and uh, thanks. Bye. Hey, I'm Savannah. Um, I'm with John Knox on a mission trip in San Francisco. The most interesting that happened to me, at least today, was when we were at the Korean church. There was this little girl there, the only girl in our seven to eight year old group. And she was very able to talk to the older kids because she was very like sad almost the way that she was the only girl and she was the only one that was able to talk to like the volunteers that came there. She made me like four bracelets, so I might keep those forever. Um, she was just really sweet and I could tell that she needed someone else there because all the boys were like fighting and like punching each other and it was kind of crazy. But I just felt like it was nice that I was able to be there for her and I like talked to her the whole day. We ran down the hills together, 
we volunteered together, it was just cool. She just made my day. Pretty happy.